have you with us on this Monday morning. We have the home dabbler in our studio, Kevin Elliott here, sharing with us lots of awesome home improvement tips that are do it yourself, which is even better. You don't need to get anyone else to do the work for you. You just do it yourself. And today we are talking just some good handy tools to have in the in home in mm -hmm. your little kit if you don't have them already or maybe you're trying to build some stuff. Yes. These are the things you need to have right exactly. here. Exactly. So last week we talked about power tools, right? Yeah. Your power tool starter kit. This is your hand tool starter kit. This right. Is, this is sort of low tech, not power tools. However, there are some little tips for the ones you need to buy and why, okay? okay. So um, there are lots of different tools out there, especially hand tools. Don't waste money on ones that won't work around your house. So I'm going to walk through these really quickly and give you a yeah. tip for each one. Perfect. All right? Probably the most common is your hammer, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows about hammer. A couple things about this they come in several different sizes, they do them by weight. This is a 16 ounce hammer okay. okay that's the one you want because they make them 12 ounces that's too small you're gonna it's not going to drive like you want it to they make 27 ounce hammers that are like big framing hammers almost too get heavy it, get, too heavy get a 16 ounce hammer with a straight claw see how this i like the straight claw instead of the curved claw okay it's more versatile okay, okay. there's your hammer next thing is tape measure everybody knows tape measure yeah all right you want a 25 foot tape measure. They come anywhere from 10 feet all the way up to 35 plus feet. 25 feet is what you need because you can measure across a room if you're doing yeah. flooring or trim or whatever. And that 10 foot tape is just not gonna, gonna get you there. Okay. All right, so 25 foot screwdrivers. Yes. Screwdrivers, all right. There are, I don't know why they keep inventing tips for screwdrivers, yeah. star tip and um, all these different weird yeah. shapes. What you really need is a standard slot screwdriver, which okay. is just a straight line across there, yeah. and a Phillips head screwdriver, right. which is your other one. Okay, they also sell them with the little tips that will get the interchangeable yeah, tips. Yeah, I do have one like that. Okay, I have one too. I don't like it. Yeah. I recommend you just get a screwdriver for each of those jaws because what will happen is you're trying to put in the the cover on your electrical socket and the tip it's is going to fall on the ground. Well, I know exactly. It's going to fall under the baseboard. You can't get it. Just buy separate screwdrivers. Okay. okay? Pliers. Yes. Pliers. Okay, I'm a stickler for pliers. There are lots of kinds. This is the only kind that I say homeowners should get. It's okay. called channel lock pliers. And what makes a difference is it has this little curve on it that right. gives you more leverage, but also the channels Ooh. allow it to resize. Different sizes. Big different sizes. So one set of channel lock pliers replaces all of the other ones. There you channel go. Channel locks. Okay. And last. Crescent wrench. Crescent wrench. All kinds of wrenches out there. This is a crescent wrench. It's adjustable. What you want to do is if you're doing a plumbing job, use a crescent wrench. Do not use your pliers because you'll grab that nut and it will strip and make all kind of terrible grooves in it. Get a good medium sized crescent wrench and you can do most of the standard plumbing jobs around your house. Okay. Last, a good level. Yes. Okay. Get a big bright orange one. Yeah. Get a metal one so it lasts a good long time because you're going to step on it or put right. the, whatever. Yeah. Okay. This will help you hang uh, pictures on your wall and make them straight and look like better homes and gardens. Yeah. That's your hand tool starter kit. There we go. So you got the power tools. Now you got your hand tools. You are good to go for doing those things around the house. Thanks, Kevin, for coming in. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.